Hi, I'm Lloyd Reber. The purpose of this short video is to introduce you to the course Introduction to Instructional Design. And this is Buddy. This course is arguably one of our field's most important course topics. Instructional design is central to the field of instructional technology, and many other topics in our field depend on people having a good, solid grasp of the wide range of instructional design skills, concepts, and principles. This course will be offered online using a variety of technologies, all coordinated from a very special web page called the Course Learning Plan. Try to avoid feeling overwhelmed when you see the Course Learning Plan. Instead, take some satisfaction in knowing that every single course activity, resource, and requirement is listed on it. Try to get in the habit of checking off each item listed on the Course Learning Plan as you complete it, such as, for example, watching this video. This will help you chart your progress through the course. From the course learning plan, you can access all of the course activities and resources, including a, pre, a series of pre-recorded presentations that I refer to as Empatica presentations, using the name of the technology and the company that makes it, Empatica. I'm a big believer in learning by doing, and so I've designed a set of online activities called Instructional Design Activities, or IDAs, on each major phase of instructional design. You'll learn about each phase by doing it. You'll complete these with the help of another course participant who will act as your design buddy. You'll get lots of feedback from completing these IDAs, first from your design buddy and then from the instructor. One really good thing about the IDAs is that they can serve as the first draft of your required course project. Most of your course grade is based on the course project, so be sure to consult and follow the course evaluation rubric carefully as you complete it. Of course, we'll be using one of the oldest technologies in education in this course, the, uh, the book. We'll be using a textbook written by Walter Dick, Lou Carey, and James Carey that is one of the most widely used and cited texts in instructional design. You'll need to read every word of it, so get started early and stay on schedule. This course is very demanding, and like most worthwhile professional development experiences, you will largely get out of it what you put into it. But we'll be careful not to get too carried away and get too serious with all this stuff. The best designers I know are creative, playful, and willing to laugh at themselves now and then. And don't worry, I'll make enough blunders during this term to keep us all smiling. I've included a short video like this to introduce the major topics in the course to you. In the spirit of the Internet's geographical liberation, I've made these from my home on Nova Road in Madison County, Georgia, giving a little tour of my home along the way. Despite what you may have heard, instructional technology is much more about people than it is computers. Hey, Annabelle, are you going to help me out here? So if you want to be a successful instructional designer, you have to learn how to connect to people, something that's not so easy to do online. So we'll see if these videos will help us to, con to connect a little bit better this semester. By the way, that is also my web address, nowhereroad.com, so it should be pretty easy to remember. So welcome to the course. Introduction to Instructional Design. See you soon. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Annabelle.